friends, today I'm going to show you how to make an electromagnet like this one. So this is how it works. I'm connecting this first terminal over here and the second terminal over here. Now when I bring it close to the compass, as you can see, the compass needle moves. That means a magnetism is formed around the core. Now when I also bring it close to the clips, it is strong enough to pick up the clips. And now when you disconnect one terminal, it drops. So that's how it works. So as you can see, I have made three magnets here. They all are different. And I'm taking the first one. As you can see, I just took a sketch pen and then I wrapped um, a wire around it. Now, like this one. Now it is hard to get a wire alone like this. Like uh, some shops, they won't sell a single wire like this. So what I did is I bought this cable and I removed this uh, plastic insulating material. And when you buy this, uh, make sure you buy it with three to four strands only. Because if you buy one with more strands, each strand will be very thin. So buy the one with three to four strands. And then you will get one strand like this. Now just uh, uh, take for example a pen and um, twist this wire around it slowly. And then when you take it out, you will get something like this, a spring pen. And then you insert it to the sketch pen. And I have attached this rubber band. I just took one rubber band and I attached it over here so that the um, wire will not move out or it will, it will not fall and I put the attach the cap over here and I'm going to be connecting the terminals again one terminal here the other one here now um, when you bring it close to the um, compass it moves slightly but when I bring it close to the clips it is not strong enough to pick it up the problem is because it's a plastic core it's a, it's a plastic core. Now I have made another one here. And for this, I just took an iron nut and bolt, as you can see. And then I took this uh, paper and I wrapped it around, just one wrap. And after that, I have twisted the copper wire again here. And then I have uh, took the rubber bands and I attached this to each end. Now it is very important that this wire must not touch the iron core. Now I'm connecting the terminals again. I bring it close to the compass and the needle moves a little bit more stronger than the one with the uh, plastic core. But when I bring it close to the pins, it can pick it up but it's not that strong. And now I have made the strongest one in the list. And as you can see, it's a bit similar to this. But the difference is that I took more turns of the wire in this and less turns in this. I've did everything same. I have put the paper insulator. I have uh, put these rubber bands too. And now I'm gonna connect the terminals again. First terminal, second terminal. Now when I move this one um, near to the compass, as you can see the compass needle moves completely. That means a very strong magnetism is formed there. And it is very strong enough to even pick up the pins. And I disconnect one, it falls. So for an electromagnet to be strong, um, Insulating materials need to be there. The wire must not touch the metal core and uh, it must have an iron core, not a plastic core. And it also depends on the electricity power you give it. More power and it will be more stronger. And also it depends on the number of turns you take. So that's it friends. Hope you all learned something new. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.